नमस्कार टू ऑल माय फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम योर फ्रेंड एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड गाइड इरफान वंस मोर विद यू फ्रॉम योर वेरी ओन चैनल एस्ट्रो एश्योरेंस वी आर डूइंग दिस सीरीज डू यू हैव अ स्पेशल प्लैनेट इन योर हॉरोस्कोप सो फार आई थिंक वी हैव डन डू यू हैव अ स्पेशल सन डू यू हैव अ स्पेशल जुपिटर डू यू हैव अ स्पेशल सैटर्न डू हैव अ स्पेशल वीनस एंड मे बी वी डू हैव अ स्पेशल मार्स एंड वी स्टिल नीड टू डू मर्क्यूरी राहु केतु एंड मे बी मून विच आर लेफ्ट to discuss what are the truly special placements special dignities of these planets in your horoscope today we will be doing a very important planet which is the planet mercury and see what are the truly special placements and what makes mercury a truly special planet in your horoscope firstly to understand mercury we all know that mercury is a planet of intellect mercury is a planet of logical decision making practical decision making somebody who is able to use information be able to use information in an analytical manner in an intellectual manner and then be able to take decisions that's why in sanskrit or in hindi mercury is also referred to as buddh referring to buddhi or intellect so if there is a planet which truly helps us make logical analytical thought through decisions which helps us to be able to separate the rice from the chaff which able to help us separate the truly authentic from the bs then it is mercury however the higher dissemination of mercury is not about materialism we look at analytical decisions intellectual decisions logical decisions more concerned to money and job or what education qualification to do we denote all of it connected to materialistic decisions however if you see in most of the horoscope almost 99% of the horoscopes mercury and sun will be placed together why is it that mercury and sun are placed together why is it that mercury is the closest planet to the sun sun is the soul mercury is the intellect so the zodiac is telling us that the intellect that is given to us to be able to separate the rice from the chaff to be able to take intellectual decisions intelligent decisions in not for materialistic denotation materialistic results the intellect is given to you the buddhi is given to you the ability to decide logically practical is given to you so that you help in the soul's elevation because mercury is closest to the sun it is not closest to venus what does this mean in a horoscope because mercury never goes away one house or maximum two houses away from the sun in rare circumstances but venus can go away four or five houses away which shows that mercury it has a strong alignment to sun the soul dissemination not the materialistic which venus denotes so the zodiac is screaming at us that the intellectual capability of mercury is to be used for higher elevation of the soul to be able to understand and separate the rice from the chaff in terms of how some decisions can make you chase materialism but you need to decide in a manner which takes you towards the spiritual journey takes you onward towards spiritual elevation rather than say chasing soul materialism but the intellectual capacity is also given to us so that we can also keep the four sthanas one of the important sthanas is the grahast ashrama also in the four ashramas of which grahast ashrama is one of the most important apart from the vanaprastha ashram and so on the grahast ashram is to do with venus is to do with materialism is to do with your house your money so there is also materialistic denotation so that you can keep the grahast ashrama which means you can also lead a life where you are not living a a life of penury but you are living a life of maybe simplistic homely pleasures materialistic pleasures but to understand the high dissemination of the soul to help the soul's journey so any mercury in whatever placement it may be if it is not helping you in truly understanding and elevating your soul cannot be a special mercury keep this in mind so if you are all that you are using 
your intellect your practical ability your analytical ability your approach to be able to separate the rice from the chaff from the truly authentic from the bs all for materialistic denotation then you're wasting your mercury even if you have a very powerful mercury if you're not using it to understand the deeper meanings of life understand the soul's dimension understanding the soul's dissemination understanding the purpose of life and trying to move in that direction so if you have a truly special mercury please do not waste it understand it well now let's discuss some of the placements of mercury which truly make a mercury your special mercury now mercury in the lagna in the sign of virgo where mercury is exalted this makes the mercury a truly special mercury because it is in the lagna itself and it's an exaltation in small tikkuna sign of virgo why is this special because now mercury is taken over almost all decision making of your life through a intellectual capacity through a intelligent rice separated from the shaft approach to decision making you will not be faulting because of emotional reasons you may not faulting because of some other denotation but you will be taking decision because of logical reasoning practical reasoning and analytical intellectual decision making so it can be a very strong placement because every decision almost every decision of yours is based on logic practical application and intellectual capability the challenge with this mercury can be that sometimes somebody can be too perfectionist and too analytical and so many times the decision making may not be fast enough because you are taking too much time to analyze or over analyze this can be a problem especially if saturn also gets in conjunction with mercury saturn in conjunction with mercury can be can make a mercury a special mercury especially if mercury and saturn go into the 10th house either in the virgo sign which also makes it a truly special mercury because here mercury and saturn to a large extent some of their capabilities some of their characteristics are overlapping because mercury when you're doing a lot of analytical work when you're doing a lot of deep research oriented work when you're doing a lot of thought through work where you have to look deep down do work which lot of precision then you also need patience you need the ability to work hard long hours saturn gives you that capability so mercury allows you to be able to do work with focus intellectual capacity and perfectionist oriented work patient denotation saturn gives you the order the structure the organization capability and the perseverance so this can be truly very special mercury the mercury and saturn are placed together either in virgo where mercury is exalted this i'm talking about for a sagittarius ascendant native where mercury is in the the 10th house and exaltation and with saturn it can also be a special mercury when mercury and saturn are placed together in the capricorn sign because mercury rules the 6th house and is placed with saturn the 10th house ruler in the 10th house so two planets of service virgo sign rules the 6th house of service servitude helping others problem solving healing and saturn gives you the patience the perseverance to be able to use the intellectual capacity of mercury the healing capability the problem solving with the order structure and the loyalty committed oriented denotation of saturn so mercury and saturn coming together in the capricorn sign where virgo energies of the 6th house are also coming together can make you somebody who takes logical intellectual decisions thought through decisions precision oriented decision makes you somebody who is a very committed loyal patient hard working person to sheer perseverance hard work intellectual capacity be is able to convince the bosses the authorities to be to be able to push the person forward to be able to truly recognize the person's capability and then help the person to be stable in the job and to be able to grow over a period of time into the most powerful positions in the organization usually the heads of strategy mercury can also be a special mercury in the 10th house with saturn in the sign of aquarius this can give a truly special denotation to mercury because here you are using your intellectual capacity for larger social good along with the perseverance the hard work the intellectual capability the commitment and loyalty of saturn other placement of mercury which where mercury can be truly special is mercury's own placement the natural house of mercury which is the 6th house in the sign of virgo for an aries ascendant native now mercury is very strong in the 6th house because 6th house has natural virgo energies and it's an exaltation so this can be somebody who's a healer like a doctor somebody who's also very good at problem solving 
keeping the opposition at bay, overcoming all competition with the intellectual capacity, the capacity to be able to overcome all sorts of opposition, all sorts of pushback from colleagues, from others who may not mean so well for you and using the energy, the intellectual capacity of Mercury, the practical perfectionist oriented cap capability of Mercury, the competition oriented intellectual capacity of Mercury to overcome competition, to overcome opposition and truly do very well. Then Mercury in the third house, again in exaltation in Virgo. I don't truly consider Mercury to be very strong or special in the sign of Gemini. Though it is very strong, but it cannot be very cannot be a special mercury unless it's an exaltation sign or it either in the sixth house mercury in the sixth house in gemini can also be a very strong mercury almost bordering on being a special mercury however mercury in exaltation and in special conjunction or special aspects and in special houses specific houses can make a mercury a special mercury so mercury in the third house and virgo can also make you a truly can give you special mercury yeah the person because mercury is exalted so person will be able to use the intellectual capability the ability to be able to make intelligent decisions in the field of communication in the field of marketing in the ability to influence others to be able to convince others so this is a person who can be able to sell almost anything to anyone because the convincing power power will be so strong the influencing power should be very can be so strong so yeah the person will be somebody who will be very hard working because the third house is the house of hard work self enterprise so this can also be a businessman who is able to influence market his or her services and products or his or her wares and through that intellectual capacity communication ability is able to influence others and convince others to be able to use his services use his or her product so it can be a very very powerful placement this can also be a very good placement for any social influencers for example somebody who has a youtube channel somebody who is an influencer or instagram somebody who is able to convince influence people through marketing through selling of goods through teaching convincing consulting and also being a guide so especially for business for self enterprise to do something of your own a mercury in the Virgo sign in the third house can be truly a special mercury. Mercury in the tenth house, as we spoke about some time back, one needs to be real careful, especially when Mercury goes in any house with Saturn. Either Mercury in the third house with Saturn in Virgo or in the sixth house, but mostly in the tenth house. Here it can slow down your decision making at work because the tenth house is the house of your karma, your career. So Mercury and Saturn either in Virgo or Capricorn or even Aquarius or even Libra in the tenth house can really slow you down and make you think hard because your Mercury is intellectual capacity but Saturn slowing down capability. So it can be a placement of paralysis by analysis as I have said in some other videos also because you analyze something too much because you want to absolutely make sure and because of the perfectionist orientation Saturn slowing down decision making can be very slow so one has to be careful when Mercury and Saturn coming together especially in important houses especially in the Lagna for example the 10th house or the 6th house then Mercury even in the 11th house either in Virgo can be very good placement because here Mercury has been given strong intellectual capacity capability exalted Mercury to do something for the masses to do something for the large societal benefit to be able to uplift the society and to do something in the lines of doing something for the larger masses so a mercury exalted in the 11th house in the sign of Virgo can make you a healer power supreme this can also make you somebody who can be also chasing power and influence if sun and mercury are too close together in the 11th house because sun is about controlling masses shining bright wanting power and influence wanting to be a leader and using the intellectual cap capability of mercury the sharp logical orientation of mercury so this is a person who can chase power and influence with the intellectual capability and maybe also do very good the problem with this is it can become too materialistic somebody can be too manipulative tactful also using the intellectual capability for ulterior means rather rather than for social gain so if you have mercury and sun either in exaltation in the 11th house in Virgo or even in Capricorn or Aquarius then one needs to be little careful. It can be more dangerous especially if it's in Leo because Sun becomes over powerful here. Mercury and Sun also in the Lagna 
even in exaltation where mercury is exalted in lagna but if sun is too close then this can make somebody very haughty somebody who is very arrogant also somebody is too capable somebody who think that they are too capable they are too intellectual they can do no wrong and many times that the decision making can also go wrong especially if mercury rules the lagna and sun is placed in the lagna because then many a time your arrogance your false pride can take over and stop you from taking a decision because your false pride says that why should i do this why should i bend why should i say sorry why should i allow the person to take over me so this makes the person too competitive not allowing the person to be more soft to be more liberal to be more giving to be more caring so if you have sun in the lagna in any house then it is a truly a tough placement sun in virgo can become even a more tougher placement because not the 12th lord sun is going into the lagna and so the losses can come to the person also because of being too arrogant chasing self price chasing fault false pride and being too haughty not to understand the true reflection of what is happening on the ground but to be full of themselves or himself or herself then mercury in the 8th house again in virgo in exaltation can be a very good placement this is especially true for aquarius ascendant natives because here mercury is in exaltation in the house where you deep analysis is required deep research is required deep thought through decision making is required logical decision is being being required rather than being overawed by emotion so mercury being the planet of intellect lot of using lot of logic using precision using perfectionism and being the planet of analysis mercury can do very well especially in the field of research especially in the field of using other people's money also only thing is there should be no malefic along with mercury here especially say a rahu or a ketu because then the person can use other people's money for their own gains the person can still make gains but it can be at the cost of others mercury in the ninth house in virgo can also be very good this is especially true for capricorn ascendant natives because here when mercury goes into the sign of virgo in exaltation in the ninth house so mercury is the karak of education so here the person can become very intelligent in pursuing educational qualification this person can get very high education qualification much easier than others and many a times mercury exalted or placed very strong in the ninth house can get two or three different qualifications to the person also this can also be a teacher this can be a professor this can be also be a guru if there is a spiritual angle involved here especially if say jupiter aspects mercury with its fifth aspect say from the uh, fifth house or if moon aspects mercury say for example from the third house of teaching advising guiding so then this can be somebody who is also spiritual guru who can also answer very spiritual questions also questions of adhyatma also with a lot of logical dissemination lot of practical dissemination so this can make the person easy to understand even very spiritual questions because the guru makes it very easy using the intellectual capability using the witty answers however mercury in exaltation in the ninth house can truly help you to be able to understand the larger questions of life better when somebody goes through some challenges experiences different kinds of experiences then the person can delve deeper in understanding the vagaries of life the challenges of life and truly truly and through the reflection through deep analysis to understand the high dissemination of and meaning of life to what truly means to experience different experiences for the soul celebration because mind you mercury is the planet closest to the sun sun is the soul so the intellectual capability should be used maximum for the soul celebration rather than for materialistic desires and lastly mercury in the 5th house not in virgo but in the 5th house in libra for a gemini ascendant native can also be truly special mercury if it is in conjunction with venus venus in the sign of libra means venus is in its moon tikona sign and venus is also the denoter of art artistic capabilities fifth house is also the house of artistic capabilities what you love to do what you like to do so here yeah, the person may love to do or love to be able to acquire some artistic capability like singing dancing music painting something of that sort and mercury place here can help you become very technical about your capability and make you somebody who is so adept at your art that you can become one of the best in that art best in singing best in drawing best in music so some capability some artistic capability capability you may have which is very excellent and because if venus is in the 
5000 libra it can it makes you a gemini ascendant native so mercury not only rules the lagna mercury also rules the fourth house of assets and place in the fifth house of financial acumen also so the person can be very technically very good very superfluous in artistic demeanor to be able to make money to make wise decisions also decisions to make investments also in a thought through manner because of it the person's assets also grow and because mercury also rules the lagna also getting a lot of name fame and artistic capability almost as a guru who's pushed on the who's put on the pedestal and almost worship and so this is also one of the very special placements of mercury in the fifth thousand libra not in exaltation but with venus so friends if you have truly special mercury be able to understand that a planet becomes or a mercury becomes truly special mercury only not only are you able to separate the rice from the shaft and be able to call out somebody's bs but to be also able to take intellectual decisions if you are able to take you be, you are able to understand people you are able to understand what their hypothetical needs are and yet you are not able to take analytical logical decision making in spite of understanding the person because you are too overawed by emotion then you surely not call the mercury a truly special mercury because then it is being overawed it is being chewed by emotion so keep your emotional things aside always if you have a special mercury use it for your advantage but please understand that you need to be able to do more for the higher elevation of the soul to be able to do more for the masses so that the soul's elevation the sun's elevation is brought about by your intellectual capability towards spiritual means rather than materialistic endeavors so friends like this video share this video and if you're looking for a personal consultation for me please reach out to me at the link given below until some other time with some other video this is your friend astrologer and guide in fun signing off ciao